Hello, my friends. It's me, Mermaid Core, today, and we are talking about poison. No, something like that. Disease. Another historical fiction our way. And yes, it is about the one, the only Typhoid Mary. So, well, it's about typhoid. And it involves Typhoid Mary, who actually was a real person. I had to Google it and find out. Anyways, uh, local library again, child section, which I was surprised, historical fiction, and this is called The List of Unspeakable Fears. And this is about a young girl who lost her father and her mom is getting married to a stranger, at least a stranger to this girl here. Her mom lets her know, hey, we are moving to, oh, what's the place called again? This was an actual place. Ba, 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 ba. It is North Brother Island. North Brother Island. They're going from New York to North Brother Island, which is off of New York area, where the one, the only Typhoid Mary lives. Now, this island was where a lot of people that are sick went, um, and then Typhoid Mary against her will. A lot of people were getting typhoid, and again, this is back in the day when there's not a lot known about disease and how diseases can be transferred to other people through water, through surfaces, through touch, coughing, other sorts of liquids. Um, and so there's a lot of, you know, scary stuff going on. There's also like smallpox and I think measles going on, which luckily today we do have vaccinations to counteract some of these things. But it was a big deal if you got sick from this and it could end up changing your life forever. So anyways, main character is going to North Brother Island. And she has to leave her best friend, who's going to become a detective. And gosh, she is just not happy. This new dad is weird. He's a doctor. And not to mention, there's electricity and plumbing in this new house, okay? Like, this is the type of place we're in where that's new. And because he's a doctor... He makes good money and can afford these new things. So he's there trying to, oh yes, well, you know what? This book was so amazing. I really, really, really like this book. I chose it at first because as someone that suffers with mental health issues, I have a lot of fears. Um, mainly a lot of what ifs, to be honest. What if this happens? What if that happens? Hmm. A lot of anxiety. And so I could really relate to this character who had a list of different things that really scared her. And as she's on this island learning more about what's going on and pretty sure that the doctor's evil, her doctor dad, because why else would the police be there and nurses be missing? She finds out some big truths about herself and about her dad, her new dad. She also is able to process what happened to her dad. He got sick, really, really sick. And then he, she actually meets the one and only Typhoid Mary. Now, Typhoid Mary was a cook, and they kind of mention it in here that she's a cook, and in the different houses that she was in, a typhoid broke out, and a lot of people got sick, and some died. Again, they didn't know a lot of things, but it turns out that though Typhoid Mary, as they nicknamed her, in the newsletters and such things. She was an Irish immigrant that came over from Ireland when she was a teenager all by herself 
Like, how crazy is that? Having to do that by yourself. I don't know if I could do it. And she became a cook. Now, things were not exactly the same as they are now where, you know, we know you got to wash your hands and make sure to, like, cook food to a certain degree and then make sure that... Ooh. There's not any contaminations. So this cook, she ended up never having any symptoms, but we call that asymptomatic now, where some people do carry um, different illnesses, but they never get sick from it. Um, they just happen to, for some odd reason, be immune, um, but they can still spread the sickness to other people. We saw that in COVID-19 pandemic. And then, yeah, this is what happened. Um, Mary, she made this really good dessert, but it was like an ice cream sort of thing. And the typhoid virus dies in heat. So she was accidentally spreading these things. Um, the news people were really mean to her. Um, they are the ones that gave her the name Typhoid Mary. They said some other things. You can see here that they made a little thing where she's cooking and it's not eggs, it's skulls. Um, and they just really made a bad name for her, which is unfortunate because uh, later on they learn about different people that also were asymptomatic carriers and they did not get the hassle like she did because she's lower class and she's a woman and she's different, right? And it's so unfortunate. And also she didn't believe in this because how, like, I don't think I would handle it very well. People being like, you're the cause and not really explaining. I don't know how they explained things back then, but I think it'd be very hard to try and teach someone that doesn't have a lot of, you know, science knowledge and being like, you gotta wash your hands and stuff. So a lot of things happened with Mary and she ends up on this island because the struggles are real. She's trying to make a living and she wants to do what she loves. Uh, but unfortunately, that's dangerous for other people. So this care, anyways, main character meets Typhoid Mary and other people that are sick. And it's very frightening to her to see what's going on. And just, you know, she's confronting so many fears. But then finally, she's able to reconcile with her trauma of what happened to her father passing away. And then learning that her new father is not the monster she thought he was. In fact, he was not crazy. He at first went to this island because unfortunately he lost some family members of his own. And he thought you know, in an accident involving the ocean. And he was hoping that the skulls would and the bodies would show up on shore. Eventually he goes through his own healing process and just decides that he's going to do the best he can to help others not have the kind of situation that he did where he lost everything and had no hope anymore. But it's really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really want to kind of read it again. Um, but yeah, go to your local library, check out a good book, let me know what you're reading or what type of genre you like to read, and I'll see you on another Story Saturday. Bye!